Their love story, as my wife would say, is a made for Hallmark movie. But as Phil would say in one of his emails to me, it's just plain cheesy. So, I'm gonna let y'all decide today. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Philip and Kobe were married in a ceremony last week in the beautiful city of Rock Springs in Texas. They now wish to celebrate here as well to dedicate their life together and their marriage. Dear Colby and Philip, it is a privilege to be present at your wedding, the last part of it, because it has been back in the United States and now here in old Europe. We're going to talk a little bit about Philip and Kobe here. <laughs> After eight and a half years of, for much of the time, an ocean between them, these two have figured out they cannot live without each other. It's been eight and a half years since we met. I remember when I first met Phil, he knew about Texas and he loved Texas, and so I thought that was my chance. <laughs> The year is 2009. We have a Dutch guy. <laughs> He's going to meet this Texas girl. We're in a park in London. It's the end of summer concert. There's a big orchestra playing. There's fireworks going on. The sun is slowly setting. Sun, there was sun. <laughs> That's pretty romantic, right? A mutual friend's going to introduce them. Phil sees Kobe coming, and Phil says, all I can see is this huge smile. And he says, I knew I didn't stand a chance. That was pretty magical, just remember her smile from a long way off. And uh, I think at that point, it was, I was a goner. <laughs> Phil met Colby, I could tell that something was very different. Wow. <laughs> Here was a boy who normally kept his cards extremely close to his chest, but suddenly Phil wanted to tell us about Colby. He, he couldn't wait to tell us. He, he wouldn't stop talking about her. He was so desperately eager for me and all his friends to meet her. Phil was head over heels. For this girl. It's a whirlwind. I can't believe we were there less than a week ago. It was just really special to be able to include all of the people in our lives that have supported us to this point and have the ceremony here meant that Phil's family could travel to be with us. Thank you, Colby, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. And with this ring, I pledge you my love. And with this ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
And with this ring, I pledge you my love in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I, Philip, have given you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce to you Mr. and Miss Philip Barrett. thank the Hanks family for their kind reception in this God-given country. And we think it will not be the last time we are here. We all wish all the happiness and all the love for Colby and Phil for the years to come. This is my wife. Colby says, we are grateful to have seen and learned that this story is not about us, but about love. We're excited to devote our lives to one another, and we plan to keep on showing up, growing up, looking up, without giving up. Every day we have the blessing of waking up. <laughs>